Hi guys and ladies, one of my first videos was of me demonstrating a remarkably easy way to cook your catch. I called it grill frying because it was a combination of both grilling and frying. And it's one of my favorite all time fish recipes. So what do you say we try catching some bluegill and then grill frying them? Last time out, I was really successful using tasty mealworms, and I'm going to use them again, but this time I'm going to start out by putting them on this. It's a tiny skunk jig made by my friend Mike of Big Mike 315. Let's see what we can do. So I'm going to set the bobber to about, oh, two feet, two and a half feet. It's hard to cast if I set it any uh, deeper. I'm fishing by the sunken trees and branches. Got one already. Got one already. All right, <laughs> it worked. The method worked. Big Mike's lure, look at the size on him. Oh my gosh, it's like eight and a half or nine inches. Wow. I'm in a tree. Another nice one. Wow. He's safely in the boat. He was in a tree, but that's where they hang out. Another very, very good one. Look at these guys. Wow. Unbelievable. I caught another. Big one. I mean, really nice size. Wow. Big Mike's uh, lure coming in handy. He's not too little. He's over seven and a half inches. Yeah. I'll keep Good. you go. Oh, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. Little guy, I think. Oh no. Oh, he's pulling hard. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! Record. Oh, it started off so lightly. Like nothing was on it hardly. And then at the end, wow, he really pulled hard at the end. Look at that. Wow. Nine and one eighth inches. That's a big one. Wow! 
so pretty. Got a little chin and it's gold and yellow. It's gorgeous. Mike's little skunk jig did really, really well. Thanks, Mike. I had a great time fishing, and all I'm going to do now is soak those fish fillets in a mixture of a beaten egg and evaporated milk. I know, I know, evaporated milk has lots of carbs, but very, very little sticks to the fish. We're talking two tablespoons, and that's only three grams. So my idea here is to first cover the grill with heavy duty foil and then non-stick foil. Probably 450 degrees would be ideal, so I'll turn the knobs to medium high. I'm going to use a commercial fish breading here. I have a cup and a half in this plastic bag, and this breading does have carbs. Ah, 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 but very little sticks to the fish. I figured between two and four tablespoons, and that would give us between, oh, 12 and 24 grams of carbs, and I think I can handle it. Some commercial fish breadings are Zatarain's Fish Fry, Shore Lunch, Louisiana Fish Fry, Andy's Fish Breading, McCormick's Golden Dip. The list is endless. I'm using one that I got from my friend at the restaurant supply company. It's called AV99. I might as well let you all know that famous celebrity food critic Miss Lulu Cheeks herself is coming over for dinner this evening. Well, I'm determined that tonight is going to be the night. I've got my nerve up and I'm going to mention marriage to her. And you know what? I'm not chickening out this time. You may have seen me do this before. It's the best way to coat the fish. I'm going to close the grill and go four minutes. Then we'll flip them. Time to flip. More butter. That's it, let's go four more minutes. Well, that's it, and just in time, it's starting to rain. Well, here we are again with the famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Thank you so much for joining me for dinner. You know, tonight we had that grill fried fish. It was uh, an, something I invented. Did you like the result? Very tasty. I loved it. Yes, oh, thank, thank you. Oh, thank you. And did you like the asparagus? Of course. I love asparagus. asparagus. Um, Very pearl. well cooked. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Miss Cheeks? I guess we've known each other long enough. I can say Lulu now. Uh, thank you. Um, don't you think that marriage is a wonderful institution? Yeah, but who wants to live in an institution? Mm -hmm. Can I have a hug? <laughs> <laughs>